I listen to metal. I grew up with metal. I've done everything that I possibly could. That's why I feel like that it's time to see what the rest of the world has to offer in other genres as well. My name is Aaron, and I grew up as a metalhead. Mm. Well, 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 welcome back, everybody. We are on to Feel So Good. We must be getting to a bit of a happier streak, I guess, in, in terms of music anyway. Because we have this in Coffee Shop, and um, I don't know about Save Me, but um, it feels like at least we're going to be starting off happy. <laughs> so, um, yeah, let's uh, let's check it out. Scene. Okay, first and foremost, the very first thing that I wanted to go to is actually right here, just straight at the beginning. I love how this starts. I love this feel. Like, the percussions, they're obviously using almost kind of like, it seems like cups or glasses. Got some really good guitar work going on there. It's definitely a more happy, positive song. Okay, the thing that I want to point out before we actually hit to this spot is the bass, uh, what it's doing. The bass line on this is ridiculous and is really the whole foundation of the song. Oh, 
that base. Just has a really good vibe, really good energy to it. I really, really like this version of, I, I just always just call him BAP at this point. <laughs> uh, I really do like this though. BAP, this is a the funny thing is, is like we've been talking, right? That they have a kind of more hip hop, kind of more aggressive, heavy side to them, but they really do this part and this kind of stuff well, don't they? It's actually pretty cool. I I actually like being able to see this other version. <laughs> It's really well put together. Like I said, the vibe behind this is legit. And, you know, honestly, I kind of like the fact that they were able to add this little playfulness to their voices. I think it actually ends up really playing a lot to um, what I think is a lot of their strengths, but kind of strengths that they don't seem to use very often. So, I don't know. It's really cool, though. I I like this song. I do. I really like the vibe. It's, it's interesting when you hear a song like this from them, because it still doesn't feel like much of what you'd hear other people do. And I think that that's one of the coolest things about BAP is their identity is really a lot more unique. And <clears throat> I really just think that that is so cool. No matter what they're doing, you know, it's them. <laughs> anyway, I think that a lot of groups have kind of like some identity crisis. I actually do. Um, one thing that maybe I'm not talk I don't talk about quite as much is that there probably could be some arguments to be made that there is a lot of groups that don't really have too much of an identity, but that is not the case of BAP. <laughs> that's the truth of it. And I mean, again, maybe that's something I cover in the future, but uh, I really think that this is uh, that they really know who they are and what they make. So. Anyway, let me know what y'all think about this, and we'll discuss this down in the comments below. Thank you. <laughs> fun, 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 fun in the sun.